When it comes to weaponry and arsenals, no other character has been able to show the amount of versatility and absolute mastery as Salat when it comes to the sheer variety of the weapons he uses throughout the story of Berserk. Salat is one of those characters that, on his own, is incredibly skilled and badass, an expert fighter. He just has the unfortunate luck that nearly every time he is forced to do combat within the story, he's up against an opponent that is way beyond his skill level. But each time, he discovers more about himself and learns to adapt his abilities to make him an even deadlier threat than he already was. And he was pretty deadly to begin with. If you guys want to be as agile and strong as Salah is, I highly recommend subscribing to the Real Life Ryan channel. Though it cannot be confirmed, there is evidence to support that if you are not subscribed, you are 70% more likely to end up like the Count. You're going to be a broken man, fat, alone, have your wife leave you for a Baphomet statue. It's not going to be good. Meanwhile, the subscribers will become absolute chads in all respects of life, including mastery of the Kushan weaponry, and they will have the grace of Shna shining down upon them to help them complete whatever endeavors that they had in their life's journey, as well as some pointers of how to pick up the ladies. So, the choice is yours. Subscribe or don't. Anyway, throughout the manga, Salat showcases incredible proficiency across a wide variety of weapons, most of which are actually based on real-life means of self-defense, starting with, of course, his name itself. Salat is the name of a martial art that originated from Southeast Asia, popular around Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, and more around that region. The word itself has a conflicting origin, some thinking it could actually come from the Arabic word meaning weapon, or the Malaysian word sekalat, which means as fast as lightning. And looking at the way Salat moves and battles within Berserk, it wouldn't be a far cry to say he is extremely fast, and his entire body is like that of a weapon itself. The actual Salat style, I know very little about, but through some research and some demonstrations, there seems to be multiple incarnations and versions of the style, and many are focused a lot on movement, counters, and ferocious kicks and takedowns. A perhaps famous fight choreographer, Sepif Arif Rahman, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he is known for appearing and choreographing the fights in The Raid and The Raid 2, and he even appeared in John Wick 3. He's a practitioner of Pencak Salat, which is the Indonesian variation of the style, and without even knowing the connection beforehand, The Raid and the John Wick films are some of my favorite modern day action movies. I mean, just look at this guy. All I'm saying is if you had to cast a live-action Salat, you wouldn't really have to look too far. But now the question is, does Salat from Berserk actually practice Salat the martial art? Well, it depends on how deeply you want to look into it, because Berserk is in a fictional world, so technically Salat might not exist as it exists within our world. But it's recognizable enough that I definitely believe his name is not just there for show. The Kushan Empire that did exist in our world was around Southeast Asia, and Miura put a lot of imagery and religious-slash-spiritual connections to the East in his fictional version of the Kushan. So, I would say, yes, Salat is most likely a Salat master within Berserk, and probably even got his name from his expert skill level. But, that's just a theory. A Berserk Theory! But besides the hand-to-hand -hand combat, Salat has also showcased a ton of weaponry that compared to the Midlanders is very strange and exotic. The medieval setting of the story mostly deals with traditional medieval weapons. Swords, shields, throwing knives, clubs, maces, and so on. But then Salat shows up and gives them all a run for their money. When he first raids the Band of the Hawk camp, he begins to battle Casca using the Qatar, a small bladed weapon with a handle underneath it. Many variations exist, and it comes from Indian origins. In the manga, the kind that he uses has three blades, kind of like Wolverine Claws, but two of them are thinner, and they are used in order to catch the enemy's sword within them in order to disarm his opponents quickly. 
He even overpowers Casca by knocking her onto the ground and using the guitar to pin her and trap the sword at the same time so that she cannot strike back. He also uses what he calls angel halos, which are based on the chakram in real life, small circular weapons meant to be thrown kind of like daggers. However, with their design, Salat can use them kind of like boomerangs, and at particular angles that he throws them, he can change their direction in midair. You can also sort of think of these like shuriken, but the design allows them to also be worn around his wrist and then thrown instantly. So if you didn't know what they were, they could practically come out of nowhere and it would be completely unexpected. You'd have to be as manly as guts to even attempt to catch them. And of course we have the Yurumi, also known as the Ara, which is a long, thin, whip-like sword. This weapon is also based on real cutlery and is an absolute monster to try and use. Its handling is taught last in each respective martial art that uses it because of how incredibly dangerous it is even for the user. It requires an intense amount of concentration and understanding of movement and momentum just to be able to use the thing. And of course, Salat uses two of them, because he's a fucking mad lad. <laughs> He even manages to give Guts a few cuts with them before Guts just massively overpowers him, throwing up a bunch of dirt and debris to throw Salah off guard, which forces him to drop his swords. Still though, he's continued to use them, and anybody foolish enough to get within their reach would get cut to ribbons. And let's not forget, the most powerful weapon in Salat's arsenal is him stashing an arrowhead blade in between his toes and using it to slice the shit out of Raxus. Now, I know that foot content is in high demand these days, but I don't think anybody out there can do feet stuff quite as good as Salat, and the evidence shows it. Ever since Salat's first appearance, his unique abilities and weapons have separated him from the majority of the Berserk cast, and I absolutely love him for that. He's the kind of character that can completely shake things up from the norm and keep everybody on their toes. But the most unfortunate thing about Berserk probably never continuing and Salat is that the team up between Salat and Rickert was one of the most unexpected and amazing events within the story. And we know that Rickert has a knack for creating advanced weapons for the time period. The boy built a flamethrower and a goddamn rocket launcher. So, with Rickert escaping with Salat, it leads me to wonder what Rickert's ingenuity alongside Salat's weaponry could look like with their combined forces. What kind of wild steampunk swords and explosive could we have possibly seen if we gotten more of the story? And I guess we may never know. But anyways, if you guys are a fan of Salat and his distinctive Kushin weaponry, let me know which one is your favorite and what you would like to see more of him using. Thanks as always for watching this video guys, I truly do appreciate it, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to support the channel on that extra level, I do have links down below for my Patreon, even as low as $1 a month would be extremely helpful, I have a bunch of perks in there that you could check out, uh, there's the merch store as well, get yourself a shirt, mouse pad, hoodie, whatever the case, a bunch of things are in there, go ahead and check it out, and as well my various social media links are down below where you can follow me. Other than that guys, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time.